let me ask you this, because this has been on my mind the last couple of days with it always is going to happen, right? People are always going to try to spin narratives up out of nowhere to discredit something. You see it every single year. People always want to put an asterisk on championship runs. Do you think that this was a cakewalk run for the Nuggets? No, not at all. And you can't, and whoever is saying that it was a cakewalk run, I would love to see who they picked to come out of the West. I would love to see who they picked in the Phoenix versus Nuggets series. I would love to see who they picked in the Lakers versus Nuggets series. Like, no, it was not a cakewalk run. You, first of all, you have no control over who you play. You right. play whoever is lined up against you. Like, that, that's all you can do. You can't choose your opponents. You can't avoid your opponents. It's not like they were, like, losing games to get a lower seed to play a lesser opponent. Like, they weren't – there was none of that going on. You can't choose who you play. And they they beat everyone in front of them handedly. Like, it's not like they – they didn't struggle with anybody, if we're being completely honest. Even the, the, the Suns got two games off them. I don't think they – they didn't struggle with the Suns. I never felt like that series was really in doubt. To be honest, I felt like the Suns yeah. did a good job of protecting home court, but when push come to shove, they took care of the Phoenix Suns. Lakers, we all, we all saw Game Six. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Like Minnesota, okay, everyone knew the Nuggets were going to win that series. The Suns, there was a lot of people who picked the Suns to win that. Nuggets took a care lot of, of big media people that picked the Suns to win that series. There's exactly. a lot of people that had the Suns coming out of the West. As soon as they see KD and D book, they're like, "Oh, too much. It's just too much. Too much talent. Too much talent." Right. Lakers, and this is coming from a Lakers fan. A lot of people picked the Lakers. A lot of people thought it was going to be a good, a long series. Rightfully so. It was Lakers was a good team. Swept them. It like, was competitive, but they just yeah, had a little bit day, more in every game. At the end of the day, the Lakers didn't win a game. Like if I'm just being completely honest, like yeah. Lakers fan aside, they didn't win a game. So if we're going to call it how it is, dominated the Lakers. Got to the finals. I mean, a lot of pick. Obviously, a lot of people picked the Nuggets, but like I said, they can't. You can't choose who you play against. And let's not act like this Miami Heat team is a bad team. They beat the Bucks in five games. I understand Giannis missed some games, but when he came back, he didn't win a single game. Right. So they beat the Bucks in five games. Went to the Knicks, beat the Knicks in five games, who was a, a lot of people thought was a good team. Went to the Celtics. Went up 3-0 on the Celtics. Like, they beat these teams. Like, they the, the Heat had a very tough run to the finals, but they beat all of them and were clearly the best team in that whole run. So when they got to the finals, I felt like the two best teams in the league, the Heat versus the Nuggets. Like, the the Heat didn't get here on no fluky run. They beat all of these teams to get right. here. And they ran into the best team in the league and got handled in five games. So all that, like, easy run to the final. Like, you can put an asterisk on every single championship possible. Like, if name – Every single finals in NBA history, I can guarantee you, you can nitpick and find some sort of asterisk. Some, right. Somebody got hurt. Somebody got a tag. Somebody, this is a bad call, whatever. Like, yeah. you, that's, bro, that's basketball. That's sports, right? That's mm -hmm. part of it. Like we just said, part of winning any championship in any sport, there's some luck involved. Like, mm -hmm. sometimes people do get hurt. Sometimes it's on your team. Sometimes it's the other team. Like, that just yeah. is how the cookie crumbles. Like, like, if, if we knew what was going to happen before the gameplay, nobody would watch. Exactly. Like, that's part of why people love sports. It's part of why people love the NBA Finals. Like, you still have to go out and execute. And to sit up here and say that, okay, well, when you look at it, the, the Nuggets played an eight seed or the Suns a four seed, and they played the seven seed, and they played another eight seed. Oh, this is, this is such a soft run to the Finals. You can't look at it like that. The only guaranteed team that they had to play in the entire playoffs was the Minnesota Timberwolves. That's it. So they had to play one eight seed. It's not their fault that the Grizzlies lost. It's not their fault that any of the – it's not their fault that they played any of the other teams that they got. If you wanted a different matchup, the other team should have won. If you wanted to see the Nuggets better. – Right. If you want to see Denver and Boston, Boston shouldn't have went down 3-0. Boston should have beat Miami. They didn't mm -hmm. because they didn't have what it took to win that series. It's a lot of media people who have already started that whole, this whole, this is a soft run, whatever. Like the, the legacy shouldn't be that big because who did they really play? 
I don't know Chris Mannix personally. He might be a great guy. I don't know you. And it's a lot of people that are doing it, but you're the one that I'm going to talk about right now because you've been the, the brunt of most of it. You've been one of the most open about it. First, you came out during the playoffs and said, the Nuggets aren't an exciting team to talk about. You work for Sports Illustrated, one of the head writers at Sports Illustrated, said that the Nuggets are not an exciting team to talk about. They're not. There's no storylines there. We just spent like 20 minutes just scratching the surface on Jamal Murray, Aaron Gordon, MPJ, Jokic, Jeff Green, DeAndre Jordan, like just lightly talking about like all of their journeys up until this point. Bro, you're a writer. It's all that's your job. It's always stories there. Like, mm-hmm. there's always stories there, bro. Like, part of your job is to not like you can define what the readers and fans are excited to talk about. The reason why sports coverage gets so hyper focused on the Lakers, the Celtics, the Knicks, we go into other sports, the Cowboys, the Patriots, like just the big market teams. It's because that's where they know the most viewership is. They all care about is clicks, views, rating. So they're always going to try to appease to those top teams. You get to these moments where the best player in basketball is in Denver. And there's a lot of people who are casual NBA fans who may have really just watched him seriously play for the first time in this series. That's a problem. And people like him in the larger media as a whole, y'all are a part of that problem. Like, Y'all should be enjoying the NBA and not just like four teams. Thanks. Like the Lakers don't need to be in every conversation. The Celtics don't need to be in every conversation. Thanks. Like in addition to that, Chris Mannix is one of the people who said that this Nuggets run is not as big as people are hyping it up to be, right? It's not this huge, you know, like they just steamrolled over everybody. They're better than them. There was no, there, it would, he said there was no real competition for them. He wrote an article that said the Lakers were going to come out of the West. <laughs> he said LeBron is healthy. Austin Reeves is playing great. AD is playing great. Look out. The Lakers are coming out of the West. Pick the Lakers to beat the Nuggets. But, now there's no competition. Right, right. But because, because they got swept. Oh, it wasn't really that close, so it, it couldn't have been no competition. I, I hate that so much. I I genuinely hate that because it used to piss me off when people used to do that with the Lakers. Pick the pick the Warriors to beat us, and then be like, actually looking back at it, the Warriors weren't even that good in the first place. Then why'd you pick them? Right. Why'd you pick it? If the Lakers was this, I I hate that you're point. You're making me bash my own team, but it's just facts. It's like you picked the Lakers to win, so that means you thought that they were a competitive team. So right. if they swept them, don't go back and be like, oh, actually, they weren't really that competitive in the first place. No, no, they the Nuggets were just better and just a lot better because they swept them. Like, I hate when I hate when media people do that. That pisses me off so much. It's it's so lame to me. Like, it's really lame because it's you're just like that's just like discrediting everything that we just saw. Like, mm-hmm. You want team like players, superstars to perform like Jokic performed. He had a dominant playoff run. He's the first player to ever lead a postseason in every all three of those major statistical categories: points, rebounds, and assists. And for doing that, it had, oh, had to be because everybody he played against sucked. He can't just be that much better. He can't just exactly. play that much more. He can't just be dominant. It's the narrative has to. Oh, Played an eight seed, a four seed, a seven seed, an eight seed. Cakewalk run. There, people are gonna forever continue to say this. Like, it's, it's always so and man. people do this about every single championship. And to me, bro, like that's pathetic. Like, bro, you don't even feel like a fan of basketball at that point. Like, even You're not. if it's like you have a fandom towards a particular team and you don't like whoever won, whatever the case may be, bro. Like, at the end of the day, bro. If you really like basketball, bro, you would just sit back and think about this series and think about this run and be like, wow, we just saw something that's never been done before. We're watching one of the greatest players to ever put on a pair of basketball shoes ever. He's only 28. We could be watching the beginning of something very, very special. I'm happy to be watching this right now. Mm Mm-hmm. 
But instead, some of y'all just all y'all just have to have something to hate on. You have to have something to hate on. You watch the game through a hater's lens. Like, why do you watch the game and think, how can I discredit this? Like, instead of just admiring it. Yo, but, you but don't the, have to say nothing. <laughs> like, you really don't, don't have to have anything to say. But you choose to try to discredit something. Like, just admit you don't like basketball. That's really what it is. Just admit you don't like basketball. You like the drama. Like, bro, go watch, like, some housewives show, bro. Like, y'all like drama, bro. All right, go watch some reality is. TV. Go watch go The watch Bachelorette TV. or something. like. Thank you, bro. Y'all don't like basketball, bro. Y'all like all the extra off-the-court drama, legacy, this, discredit this, I'm hating on this, like, Y'all like all of that, bro. Right. And y'all like, like it for the, the wrong reason. That's really what it is. Because yeah. you can like the off the court, the stories, like I said, all the other things that come with it that build up the game. But no, all y'all do is like the negative parts. You like the debates, tearing somebody down. Which is it's weird. Never, right. It's so weird, bro. It's really, it's lame. And, and they do it every single year. This one in particular feels so much more stupid because it's like, bro, like, what do you want either of these teams to do? By doing this, y'all are trying to discredit the Heat. It's like, oh, look, look at how well they shot against every other team and they play the Nuggets and they shoot bad. Bro, that is basketball. Also, the Nuggets played their defensive intensity after game two, game three, four, and five on a whole different level. Like, it's... Sometimes, bro, it's just how the people are performing on the court. It's not so black and white. You can't just look at the box score and be like, oh, somebody shot 41% this series, and now they're shooting 16%. Oh, look at this. They're so lucky. Bro, do you think he's just trying you think he's just trying to miss? Right. Like oh, we're playing the Nuggets now. Let me just let me just miss now. Like, come on, bro. Like, and if you just look at it from a common sense thing, it's like there are 32 teams in basketball. The Nuggets. Oh, my bad. Sorry. I'm thinking of football. My fault. <laughs> there's 30, 32. There are 30 teams in basketball. The Nuggets came. There's 16 teams to make the playoffs. The Nuggets came out on top. So everyone else just sucks. Like, like right. is that what you're telling me? Everyone else just stinks. Apparently, like, bro. Apparently, like, the re- it was just the Nuggets and everybody. Nobody else was even, bro. Like, everybody else just, stunk, bro. Bro, if that was the case, bro, y'all should have just gave them the ring in November. Exactly. Like everyone else just stinks. They had no like all their stars stink. All the teams are garbage. Like it was they were lucky. It was a cakewalk. Like, what are we talking about, bro? Do you genuinely think like that's how it worked out? Seriously. And there's people who go to and the sad part about it is there's people who are gonna like read that article or listen or probably a fan of I don't even know the guy you're talking about, if I'm gonna be completely honest. But there's people who are gonna watch that stuff and actually believe it. Like, hell wait, they did play a seven seed Lakers, they did play a eight seed Heat. Maybe that was a cake run, like Come on, bro. Stop. You're influencing. Like, stop, bro. Just stop. That is the biggest problem with all of it. And that's what really gets me is because, bro, y'all are working for the largest media networks in sports. The people on Fox, ESPN, Sports Illustrated with these takes, bro. And it's Mm -hmm. like the average fan who may not have the luxury of watching every game during the regular season. They might not have league pass. They only keep up. They watch a couple games every year, and they might watch more during the playoffs, whatever. They go to these type of outlets to fill in those gaps on the coverage, bro, and this is what they're hearing. And then you get people that buy into it. like Spreading negativity, bro. Right. I don't know, bro. I'll go further than that. I I think it's just false. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's just blatantly wrong. I don't, like, I'm I'm never one to always just be like, like, bro, people going to have their opinions. This is just stupid, bro. And it's just dumb. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, like, I said, they do it with every single championship run. This one just feels so much more stupid because it's like, bro, it's just dominance. And you're at the same time trying to discredit the heat for getting out of the East. Bro, they clearly just wanted it more. Look at how they play basketball. Yeah, bro. Even in the game last night, back against the wall, dudes are throwing their bodies all over the court. They just don't want to go home. They clearly just have a different gear in their head that these other teams didn't, which is why they beat Milwaukee, because Milwaukee's probably thinking about the finals in the first round. Oh, Mm -hmm. well, y'all should have been focused on the Heat. They beat the Knicks. The Celtics probably thought the same thing. It's like, oh, wow, we're one, we're one series away from getting right back to where we were last year, blinked, and we're down 0-3. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. It's just too big of a deficit to come out of. Like, nothing was given to this Heat team. Nothing was given to this Nuggets team. So take this series for what it is, because to me it's still like being a five-game series, aside from, um, what was it, game three that kind of, or game four that kind of got out of hand for the Heat. Yeah. All these games were competitive, close, very physical. To me, this was an exciting series to watch. 